why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. Are you out of your mind? Oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, you're not. Because no one can ever truly be ready for the train wreck that is season six. Today, we embark on our stupid Earth quest, because we can't get enough of Earth, apparently. It is the first MacGuffin quest, because the writers couldn't figure out a different way to pad out this fucking season, so we have to go look for arbitrary things to advance the plot. And my favorite part about this little MacGuffin hunt, aside from the fact it's only two places, is the fact that a revelation in episode 10 is going to render all of this incredibly pointless. So I already know going in that none of this shit is gonna matter, so that's wonderful. Anyhow, before we begin, I want to give some season six rewrite updates, especially in case you did not see the community tab post that I literally just posted the day of recording this. But I'm nearly done with the rewrite's first draft. Thank God. Hoping to finish the last two episodes later today, and then I will be working on the second draft. With the way this rewrite is going, I'm not expecting part two to like uh, come out until early next year. That's how intensive it is, Jesus. This is what happens when you involve your blender skills. You, oh God. Part one, I assume is probably gonna be done. I wanna say at this point, November or December, cause I, I wanna take my time and not rush it out uh, for any arbitrary window. And I know y'all will be cool so long as it's, you know, good. It's also difficult because the season is such trash. I have to literally reinvent the wheel. I have to invent a whole new fucking plot and have it be good. So that's fun. Like when I was writing my book, that took like five years and like eight drafts because I wanted to take my time with it. And I still feel like parts of it could have been better, but you know. And it's kind of the same thing here where it's like you're making something that's practically original. Like even though I was using pieces of existing media, it's kind of its own thing because I find it fun. And it, it takes a while. It, you know, it takes a while in the oven for it to be fully ready. Anyhow, the Lost Library, also known as the library that should have stayed lost. I'm gonna regret this. I'll just have to create both looks. Oh yay, we're starting with fashion filler. <sighs> exactly what I wanted. I just, after my season three video, I've really appreciated not only the plotting in that season, but the moments of downtime actually felt one earned and two genuine. This all just feels so... Mm -mm. I don't remember these patterns being so alive. Where did the bugs even come from? Get out of my boutique! Isn't it exciting meeting all these new friends? Oh my God, Kiko has been murdered by a caterpillar and he's about to be eaten by spiders. This is dystopian. What's wrong with a few little friends living peacefully by our side? Flora, does this look peaceful to you? Literally any time a monster tries to kill or eat the Winx alive and Flora's like, no, don't hurt it. And still is like, it's trying to eat us. It's just hungry. We know because it keeps trying to eat us. The smell of a Treeman's orchid will lure them back to their homes where Ooh. they belong. <laughs> What's that smell? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the giant spider eater she made back in season one, but worse. Hi, Winx. Roxy, I miss you. Come back, be here. Oh my God, they remember her. I do appreciate that they're trying to use more of Flora's potions. I will admit that. There's nothing to be afraid of. The bird fucking dies. <laughs> Let's give it a try. It's a bird. No, it's a man. No, it's Lord Darkar. Totally awesome. The tricks are in possession of a very powerful book. It is called the Legend. Then what are we waiting for? We need to destroy the Legendarium. Wow, Aisha, really destruction happy. Jesus. The source of negative energy is inside that magic book. Let's destroy it. Y'all are acting like you know what the Legendarium is. Like no one has explained what it is already. Oh my god, hive mind. I feel my brain glazing over. This is the most boring way to explain it. A fairy godmother who guarded the book is the only one who knows how to lock it. How do you know that a fairy godmother guarded the legendarium, but you don't know that it was Eldora, a woman who used to work at your school? Ferragonda, you should know this. You know everything else. Hello, Ferragonda. It's nice to see you again. Why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. Are you out of your mind? 
Also, the diary is just such a, mm, it's so pointless. Dear diary, how are you? I am fine. Ugh, okay, I'm not fine. You got me. God, you're good. Like the second that we find Eldora, or not even that we find Eldora, that we find the Lanusia, the diary is pointless. We don't get to learn about Selena through the diary at all. That would be cool. Imagine that Bloom was reading the diary or someone else was, and they like read really disturbing notes about Selena while she was at Althea. Ooh, that would be drama. But no, no, that would be far too useful. Time to go fairy hunting, sisters. Hunters unite. May the doors of the black circle open wide. Is it bad I want to say that the wizards did it better? I just, I'm so bored. Oh my God. This is going to be so much fun. Yeah, I can hardly wait. It's a mission, Stella, not a vacation. Technus, the serious one. Can you figure that out? Oh God, no, not the fan. Not the fan, not the fan, not the fan. It's the highest grade of wind force. Nothing but the best for my girls. Watch out! That funnel has an F5 wind force! Why am I getting the vibe that the writers of these seasons didn't watch the first three? They just kind of assumed who Stella was and they just went with it. And now the specialists are here to waste even more of your precious time. Oh god, the heterosexuality has arrived and I'm not a fan. Not the fan! Oh, you stink! Come on, Flora! Helia's with them too! Why would he not be? What the fuck? Oh God, the love triangle. Move, I'm gay. Again, it's made so weird because like, they never specify whether Aisha and Roy are dating or not. So it's like, what is happening? What's this dynamic supposed to look like? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? <gasps> what was that gasp for? Oh no, he's hot! Where are the other girls? They should have been here already. Why are they on a shuttle bus? Why would they not be in the dorms? The students live at Elfia. They would only be taking a shuttle bus there if they were in Magic City, which, we have not seen since like season three, so. Good to know our reputation is intact. It's really not. They're burning all the witches even if you aren't one. This is reminding me of all those four kids jokes about turning Elfia students into frogs or toads if they break the rules. And I'm kind of living for it. You're lucky you weren't turned into jumping beans and sold to the Interrealm Circus. One debt to society later. <laughs> oh. What the fuck was that? Oh. Oh. Why are we bringing these random students? And why conveniently three? Like three random freshmen? What the fuck? Let's try to stay on schedule, okay? Are you kidding me? I'll cut off your nutsack and nail it to my door. Wait! Run for your life! <laughs> no, don't bring the pixies. Don't forget us! I wish I could. I mean, the writers forgot about two of you, so. We'll end up won't we? Why do the specialists have to stay behind, but the pixies get to go with us? Ugh. Oh god, we're about to ruin the hell out of Egypt. Oh no, I'm s Egypt, I'm sorry in advance. Daphne can just teleport us places? What the fuck? Timmy and I designed this program that creates small dimensional passages. Stella's teleport thanks you for riding with us and hopes to see you again soon. Let's use our wings to teleport. Let the table screw you up. Traveling between worlds means nothing in the new seasons. You could just blink and you'll be somewhere else. So I click my heels, then what? It better be more complicated than that or I'm gonna go ballistic! Oh, there are many other ways you could've gotten the blue mix power. Oh, what? You could've clapped your hands, you oh. could've winked or brushed oh. your eyelash. Teleportation devices, teleportation spells. No, never. You psycho glitter bitch! Oh. Oh, Can humans see us? ever since magic came back to Earth. Okay, I kind of like that acknowledgement of season four, but it's the only one. Y'all can't consistently ignore the first four seasons and do shit like that. Like, which is it? Did the first four seasons happen or did they not? Make up your damn minds. <laughs> These shoes were not exactly meant for traipsing around archeological sites. Stella, none of your shoes were. You all consistently wear high heels. If I had known we'd be hiking, I wouldn't have worn heels. Come on, Stella. We always wear heels. These shoes rule. These shoes suck. Fabulous high heels, but high heels. We could transform and Let's get a- Let's hold off on that, Flora. We need to keep a low profile. Why can't we draw attention to ourselves? We already have a bunch of pixies with us. I feel like that's drawing plenty of attention. Hell, we teleported in. People were bound to see that. Now this is what I call flying in style. It's really not. Um. <laughs> it is a stifling 95 degrees Fahrenheit. You're telling me Techna of all people would use Fahrenheit, not Celsius? I refuse to believe that. I need my fan. 
will cut off your nutsack! How did no one notice her summoning a tornado? It's glowing purple. Wouldn't your first thought be, oh, the tricks know we're here? Like, that's a stormy tornado. And also, like, what's the point of this? Like, what is this ad? If you were to cut a lot of this episode out, nothing would fundamentally change. It doesn't add anything. It doesn't add anything to the plot. It doesn't add anything to the characters. None of them have character arcs going on at the moment, aside from a weird love triangle and Riven becoming boomerang sexual. Being by does not imply that you're a player or a slut. Sure, I like sex. Please make him stop. Daphne, the pixies, and the girls are still in the sandstorm. <gasps> Well, I guess Daphne's about to die again. <laughs> oh my god, it's a final destination where Daphne was meant to die and the universe is gonna continually try to kill her. Well done, Cherie! That's why they call me the Weather Pixie. Is there a pixie for every occasion? Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that, that was funny. Darcy's a mood. Good on Cherie being useful one time. I still miss Toon. Hey! Is everyone okay? Pay attention to me! Pay attention to me! We have been floating around in circles for hours. Hour? What? Y'all just, usually to indicate a passage of time, you would use like a crossfade or something, or you would show the characters in one frame being energized and ready to go, and then the next frame, the time of day would change, they would be visibly exhausted, bags under their eyes, slumping around. <laughs> That did not happen, so it's like, I do not believe you. The look on Bloom's face made me want to die. We've searched only 12% of the designated area. Techno's the nerd, have you figured it out yet? Okay, this is, this is genuinely iconic. Bitch, I'm the butt. Alien superstar. Whip, whip. Classy, fuck this world. Flora is a goddess, an earth goddess. I would love more earth spells from Flora. I know she mostly deals in plants and, you know, nature. An earth spell or two would be cool to see. Or an earth fairy or an earth witch. That would be fun. There are no rattlesnakes in Egypt, Stella. No, but there are cobras and crocodiles and scorpions. <laughs> There's still plenty of shit that'll kill you. I wonder if there are hippos in Egypt. Hippos are killing machines. They're cute, but they'll fucking end your life. This is incredible. Whoa, check it out. Must you say this about every location? Just once I would love for them to go. It's very underwhelming. <laughs> uh, stop saying things are amazing. It, it loses its effect. And once everyone's super, no one will be. <laughs> I'm suffering, can you tell? This episode has just felt so bloated and meandering. Like nothing has really happened. We've just kind of been fucking around the whole time. Ancient pharaohs of Egypt. This is why the earth shit in the legendarium is annoying because it isn't about like expanding the magical universe or telling interesting stories through myths. It's just more pointless cannon fodder for the wings to fight. All of those monsters who attacked us were brought to life by the legendarium. Flashback. Storm harpies, I thought they only existed in fairy tales. Some people think that about us. And like a lot of us, when we watched Winx, we didn't watch it for like traditional fairies or mummies or other magical creatures. We watched it because of the fresh takes on fantasy tropes. We'd never seen fairies or witches like this before. And now it feels like they're just kind of giving up. Mummies! Ah! Let's get out of here! How many other magical creatures have you girls fought over the years and that you've managed to like kick the shit out of and mummies are what scare you? Bloom, just set the mummies on fire. You'll be done in like five minutes. Oh, the Blue Mix song is so underwhelming. Look, if you enjoy the Blue Mix song, I'm happy for you. It just, the vocals are not that great. The beat is, eh, the lyrics are laughable. There's no energy behind this. I, I'm not hyped for them to transform like I was with Enchantix. And once again, Daphne uses Cyrenix on land. You know, at this point, I'm not gonna say anything further about it. Y'all know how I fucking feel. Oh, Bloomix looks so pretty. I just, oh, it deserved so much better. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? God, the Pixies' voices feel like a cheese grater being applied to my brain. I Bloom spells are just so boring. Y'all have the dragon flame and you can't even beat a bunch of mummies. <laughs> 
This is just sad. This is sad. What was the point of having the tricks disguised here? What does this add? I call upon the element of fire! Flame spiral! I do find it cool that Daphne can call upon the four elements because she's a nymph. I will admit that. That's cool. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most... Imagine all the things that they fought over the years, and they're done in by these things. We have fought against every monster there is. Mommies! <laughs> How did none of you hear her evilly laughing right there? Like none of you? Not one of you. Okay. The ancient mummies of Egypt are going to crush the Winx. How did none of them hear that? How did none of them hear- Wait, did the tricks just move spots? I could have sworn they were just right next to the Winx before. Th shouldn't that be a red flag that something is up with them? It's really reminding me of the first three seasons where like all fairies, even freshman ones, would transform and fight alongside the Winx. So here, like they should have gone into magic Winx to help them, but like they aren't. But I guess that fits in because no fairies who are not Winx are allowed to fight. Bloom, I want to go too. Fuck you! Infinite! Everyone get real used to Infinite Echo. It's the only spell Muse is gonna have from now on because Musa does not get nice things. Nice things. Flame spiral! <sighs> Daphne's like, Bloom, if you're not gonna do your job and fight, I'll do it for you. <laughs> I do not like how much we're focusing on the pixies. I mean, I do kind of like that the pixies are showing a little bit more usefulness with their magic. Like just a little bit, like they're trying at least. This is me trying. But they're just so annoying. And compounded with all the other issues, I my brain has glazed over. I have checked the fuck out. <laughs> oh no, Chad is gonna sing. No, no one wanted this. Round and round the mummy we go. Y'all had better have paid Alejandra a good check for this. Okay? I would like all of you to know that is the same voice as Saifa Bel fucking Nades from Castlevania. Saifa Bel fucking Nades. <laughs> Talented woman, God bless. Actually, I don't comment often on the Nick cast. Generally, I do really like the voices that they picked. It's just the direction and the script that they're often given that make the performances feel very lacking and overly cheesy, but not in a fun way, like the four kids dub. It's a very hollow, kidsy kind of performance usually. Specifically Alejandra, the way that she speaks has this cadence that's very grating and repetitive. In the specials, like the one hour specials recapping the first two seasons, I really enjoyed Alejandra as Flora. I felt it was a very good fit. It sounded like Alejandra was using more of her normal voice. No, don't be sorry. I'm Flora. I think we're roommates. And this is my talking plant. <laughs> it's a magical creature. Here, though, it feels like she's being instructed to pitch her voice up and sound like more melodic. And it's, it's, it's infuriating. I'm listening, I see. I'm telling you, Selena is a gay icon. I'm telling you. Winx needs more gay. I just, we need more gay shit in this show. I mean, come on, look at Bloom and Selena and tell me that they're not exes. <laughs> tell me they're not. Ooh, I could get behind Bloom as a bicon. I could. I could do that, yeah. Mighty Sphinx, I invoke you. Beware Sam Regal Sphinx. Look, Sam Regal, amazing voice actor. Absolutely love his work. However, the lack of budget this season for the dub really shows. They use Sam so much. He's the Sphinx. He's Riven. He's a Rumpelstiltskin. He's Asheron. He's Squidward. He's Squidward. You're Squidward. I'm Squidward. Are there any other Squidwards I should know about? Meow. He's probably a bunch of other characters that I don't remember, but like, maybe it's different for me because like, I tend to notice repeating voice actors a lot more, but it's like, it's, it's very distracting for me. Why did we just zoom in on a man's crotch? You all start in the Egyptian history section. How do you know what the Egyptian history section is? There are no labels. There are no hieroglyphics. The ancient mummies of Egypt are going to crush the wings. What was that, Carol? Why even have them notice the students are acting off if the fairies don't even realize it? Like, why not have Techno go... Some say right. Bloom's new power, the ability to sense conflict, aka the ability to know when the writers need to pad for time. So, yeah. I just, the dragon flame was used for so many bullshit powers. I just, I'm so over it. And if you're gonna have the dragon flame react this way, can you at least find a way to make it interact with the legendarium in a unique and interesting way? Like maybe there's some inherent connection between the dragon flame and the legendarium? Like at least do something with it. Oh, well, it's certainly not 
protecting anyone now. Stella, a, a man was probably in that car. That man just died. It's certainly not protecting anyone now. Okay, not... there's people that are dying. Okay, but like the Winks being on Earth this much. Oh, am I watching season four, but worse? Hey, Spacey, keep up the good work. What was that, Carol? How is no one noticing these students like saying all this shit and causing all this mayhem? Total eclipse! I mean, cool, but like, wouldn't that be a fairy dust thing to break the dark spell? You know a dark spell was used to immobilize those people to put them in danger. You wanna inquire further on how that spell was cast? Cause I don't think the Sphinx can do that shit. I don't know where the diary is. I do. How do you not know? Selena, you studied under her. Surely you've heard about the diary. Or you've noticed it? Travel between worlds means jack shit when you can teleport wherever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want. Good God. We're gonna need to lead the Sphinx further into the desert. Let's get him away from all these people. Okay, Bloom did make a good call there. See, things like that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm remembering times when they actually strategized in the first few seasons. <laughs> Although it's just so frustrating because it's like they have the all-powerful dragon flame and they're still struggling against these creatures. It almost seems like they're weaker than they were before. Uh, whoopsie. Stella, stay focused. What is with the Stella stay focused energy that's happening? Also, you had a sphinx charging at you and you had time to do that? Bloom, he's right on your tail. Keep it moving, Winx. The Speedix wings are the ones we need. Winx Speedix. Is there a special wing for every occasion? Ridiculous. I'm still confused as to how the Sphinx can fly. The Sphinxes of ancient Greece, they did have wings, but this one does not. So how is it flying? Fly, open your eyes and spread your wings. Wouldn't it just be racing through the desert, like on foot? We're within swatting distance. Tecna, don't give him any eye. I just imagine if that's where Musa fucking died. Oh my god. Oh my god, Flora killed it. Flora went from don't hurt the kitty to kill the kitty in like two seconds. Jesus. No, don't hurt it. Three hours later. I won't hesitate. Flora has become unhinged and girl same. The library could collapse any minute. Very convenient that it happened over the library and not another part of this vast desert. <laughs> why would you even lead him toward the library? Like, why would you do that? Blue must go in and find the diary because she is the one. But not in the cool you're the one way more in the You're the Mary Sue way. You're the one is specifically meant for queer icons and this bloom does not deserve that. You're the one. You can do hey, enough of that, no! Kill the tricks, kill them, end our problems, please. I call upon the element of earth, dance of leaves. What a very underwhelming element of earth spell. You know what would be cool? You're in the desert, Daphne. You're a nymph, you have power over the elements. How about you whip up a little sandstorm? You know, that'd be cool. If you're expecting an interesting meet between Bloom and Selena, you're not getting it. <laughs> also, what is with all the weird important books this season? The Legendarium, The Diary of the Fairy Godmother. Actually, Winx has a weird thing with like important tropey books in general, like The Book of Fate, The Book of Fairies, The Sirenix book. When in doubt, just make a book. <laughs> Diary's presence is so strong. Just diary, not the diary. Is is that the name of the book, Diary? This is irrelevant, but my God, Bloom's Bloomix is gorgeous. I love the wings. <gasps> what? Who is that? Uh, Who are you again? I'll cut off your nutsack! Oh my God, Bloom! Look at your ex. <laughs> that look was so gay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, there is no heterosexual explanation. Move, I'm gay. But like, I think this is a really cute idea of them being like childhood friends and I wish they did more with it because it feels so incidental and irrelevant to everything. And also came out of nowhere. Like there was no foreshadowing of Selena having known Bloom up until this point. There was no Bloom going, you know, I had a childhood friend once and I wonder what happened to her. There was none of that. And also like, why would she be 
here of all places? Wouldn't your first response be, what the fuck? Why are you here? What's happening? I love that the legendarium is right in front of Bloom's face and she can't even fucking notice it. <laughs> Hey, Bloom, notice the glowing thing around Selena's hands? It's almost as if she's behind this. Wait, how is Selena? She's the witch of snakes and she can cause an earthquake? Um, okay, all right then. Sure, whatever, whatever the plot demands. I love how Bloom just completely abandoned Selena and left her for dead. What a great friend. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a, it's like a Tomb Raider legend situation where like Amanda's like, you left me for dead and you never came back. It's it's like that, but worse. You know what really used to bug me though? When I got out and saw that you left without even trying to... What is it archaeologists do? Oh, right. Dig. Oh my god, I can't believe Piff was the most useful out of all of them. What was the point of putting him to sleep if he was just gonna wake up immediately? Normally, wouldn't you have something that wakes him up, like the Winx accidentally wake him up, or the Trix cast a spell, or whatever. Cast a convergence spell! And by convergence, we mean generic energy blast. There will be no rainbow connection. Season 6 said no gay rights. <laughs> None. <laughs> Everyone, do stupid poses in the void. <laughs> We love Bloomix Convergence, including a Sirenix fairy. <laughs> the fact that this fails makes Bloomix look so weak I, and ridiculous. Our Convergence isn't working without Bloom. Why do you need Bloom? You all have the Dragon Flame. You should be fine. There's nothing you can do, Winx, unless you solve my riddle. I do kind of like that this is an example of a time where brute force isn't enough. You have to find a creative workaround to defeat a legendarium character. It's something. Stella's wings are clipping off the screen. <laughs> you know what would have been cool, actually? Maybe the Sphinx approaches them, and it's like, you must answer my riddles one by one. And one by one, each of them fail and gets sent to, like, I don't know, some torture dimension. I don't know. And then maybe it falls to one last person, and it's their duty to, like, save the day. There are three zillions, two thousands, five hundred and thirty-six letters in those books! <laughs> Okay, but when you say letters, are you talking hieroglyphs or? The correct answer is 60,230,451 letters. Wrong. <gasps> I just don't know what happened. I wish Morgan's voice was a little more like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what happened there. Because like everyone else is ready to fucking kill her. <laughs> My algorithms are usually completely. I know it, I know it. Chata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny, Lockett. Chata's workaround is silly, but I do like it. It's kind of a trick question on the Sphinx's part, and I do think that's very clever. Like, if you're gonna have simplistic childish writing, clever shit like that, please. I love that. That's gonna make kids, like, think more critically about what they're being asked of. We defeated the Sphinx, Bloom! All thanks to Chata! Tecna is just crying in the corner. Imagine it wasn't the actual diary. Imagine it was just a random fucking cookbook Eldora also put in the library. How to cook chicken milanese. All of ancient civilization was hinging on a word problem. What a joke! I feel like Four Kids I See would have been like, all of ancient civilization was hinging on a word problem? No wonder they fell. <laughs> because she's a savage. <laughs> the fairy godmother's name is Eldora. How did no one know this? A long time ago, a fairy by that name lived here in Alfia. How did Farragonda not know this? You're an old friend of Eldora. Why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. Are you out of your f mind? <laughs> Why did Eldora even go to Earth? Why? There's no reason for it. Uh, seriously, just let Tecna discover that what the tricks are up to. I would love Tecna versus the tricks. I think that would be kick-ass. Oh my god, it really is getting more and more boring. When you were watching season three, you felt all of the thrills. It was such a riveting adventure from start to finish. And here just kind of feels like everyone is going through the motions as slowly as they possibly can to like 
pad out to 26 episodes. I just, I ain't impressed. I, I did not enjoy that one bit. Oh God, y'all are in for a wild ride with the season six period because it looks nothing like this. Like all of the MacGuffin quests from this, like to Egypt and to China and to fear when and all that stuff, not happening. No, there are kind of MacGuffins, but I wanted them to actually be relevant to what the characters are going through. Like I wanted them to actually be kind of important. So that'll be fun. Oh God, I just, my brain, I, mm -mm. future self, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you more than usual. Spice this shit up with the dankest of memes because this was a mess. Anyhow, I'm gonna go uh, try to forget all of that. <laughs>